Iyab Najum's family has worked these fields in the village of Aloja for decades. In the good days, these fields produced enough bananas for export, but the good days have gone. Along with the water, he desperately needs to survive. Israel controls the water now, most of it going to 11,000 settlers living in 37 settlements built since the occupation began in 1967. They took our water. It was like paradise. They employ 150 workers in the smallest settlements. But we look at our dry land and can hardly feed our family. The settlements are agricultural and use lots of water. Israeli settlers control 86% of the land here, the Palestinians just 6%. It's not hard to see the difference in allocation. The Israeli settlements, illegal under international law, get as much water as they need. The personal allocation for every Israeli living in the Jordan Valley is 487 litres a day. But for many Palestinians here, it is less than 100 litres a day. Under international law, the water belongs to the Palestinians as well. But increased Israeli extraction has dried up springs. Once thriving villages are now struggling to survive. The Israeli occupation authority managed to establish 37 settlements in the Jordan Valley and they managed to drill huge water wells near our springs. So directly after they drilled these wells, the Palestinian springs dried out and we lose our water. A recent report by Oxfam said this area could generate $1 billion a year for the Palestinians if they had more water and freedom of movement. For now, the poverty rate here is twice that in the rest of the occupied West Bank. The good times for Diab and thousands like him remain a distant dream. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, in the Jordan Valley.